Hey guys, welcome back to the Grafana series. If you have been following this series, I'm sure you are fully loaded with the theory of Grafana. Now it's time for some hands-on experience. Before diving deeper into Grafana, let's install and set it up. So without any further delay, let's get started. Grafana can be installed in different ways to suit our specific environment, such as with package installation, docker, binary, etc. For this tutorial, let's deploy it on our minikube cluster with Helm. To begin with, let's start a fresh minikube cluster with minikube start. You can refer to minikube video to learn more about it. As you can see, our cluster is ready. Let's verify if our minikube cluster is running by running minikube status. Great, as you can see, our cluster is ready. Next, as a best practice for our organization and isolation, it's a good idea to create a dedicated namespace for Grafana just like we created for the Prometheus. So let's create a namespace on our cluster kubectl create namespace and namespace is monitoring. Now let's install Grafana in this namespace with Helm. By the way, if you are new to Helm, I have created a detailed video on it with complete hands-on. Please check it out. To install Grafana, we should add the Grafana Elm chat repository with this command. Awesome, our Grafana repository is added. We can verify if the repository was added by running helm repo list. As you can see, our Grafana repository is added. Now, we can install Grafana in the monitoring namespace using just a single command. Enter. That's it. Grafana should now be installed. We can verify by listing the pod in the monitoring namespace. kubectl get pods in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, the Grafana pods are running and it has its service. Now let us verify by accessing the Grafana UI through port forwarding to the Grafana service with kubectl port forward service Grafana. Let's port forward it on 3000 port and the service is running on the 80 port and it is in the monitoring namespace. Now let's go to browser and access http colon localhost 3000. There we go. We have successfully installed Grafana on our Minikube cluster. The default username is admin and the password can be found in the Kubernetes secret with this command. So basically we are getting the Grafana secret in the monitoring namespace and we are getting this path and then we are decoding it and finally printing it. Enter. So this is the Grafana password. Let's go to the browser and paste here enter. Cool. Now we have installed and successfully logged into Grafana. For your information, if you want to play around with Grafana without installing on your machine, you can access the Grafana playground online at play.grafana.org or you can use Grafana Cloud at grafana.com by creating a free account. Great! I can feel your excitement to start using Grafana. In the next chapter, let's see what all we can do with Grafana. Again, everything with complete hands-on. Stay tuned. My name is Pavan Tepu and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, Please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.